day is January 7. It's eight o'clock in the morning. And this is day one of starting the footy EP. So, um, going up to Melbs to see Jakey Rossitani. I think about every train that I want to get to to get to his is either not on or Havoc. So it could be a couple of bus rides there. But um, yeah, first day of working the album or well, the EP. So exciting times. Have some sauces for free. It's high note time. There we go. Easy fix. So I can get my pie and chips. Just want a pie and chips. I just want a pie and chips. Working on uh, the footballing masterpiece again. <laughs> We are. It's taken a little while this morning. We, we've struggled to find some sounds. Sounds, yeah, I know. We've that, just got just too many blinking sounds, so I think we've found the right ones for uh, for the job. For the job. So this is uh, track two of the EP. We've got a couple songs to go. How are we going? Mate, we're just, just chug along. We've <laughs> got our, you know, our hands, our hands dipped in many, uh, many projects at the moment. Uh, we do. This one's coming along quite nicely, I think. Love not spend half an hour in a nice bar. Cause I don't want to play play. I don't want to play one. Did we have this in before? Yeah, we did, this thing. Guys, second consecutive day going up to Melbourne. I'm driving up today instead of the train, thank fuck, because I'm not a big train guy. Um, yeah, get to cruise up the motorway. So uh, I better get going, because it's gonna take two hours to get there. Vocals for I Don't Wanna Play Ones. Tuesday Arvo, gotta go to training. On the way there, hoping that it's raining. If we run laps then, I'm stuck complaining. Too much effort, too much effort, way too much fatigue. Look at all these blokes who think they're in the league. I'm not far off with that one. No, not too bad, man. <laughs> Look at all these blokes who think. Look at all these blokes who. I don't want to play ones. I don't want to play ones. I don't want to play ones. Cause I don't Another successful trip up to Melbourne, me and Jackie Ross making some serious ground in the footy EP, so exciting times, but at 6 o'clock now, I'm hoping I've missed the traffic back to Torquay, otherwise it's going to be awful times, Grimes. You can go to Florence, and then you can go here. If we get those two perfect, just because the start will be like pretty soft, Yeah. right? And then the second half will be like a build up, like bum 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 bum. Um, and then just don't just don't stop so suddenly. Beethoven actually didn't play, play, yeah. play piano, he just used MIDI. Yeah, Be <laughs> Beethoven, <laughs> he didn't touch the keys. <laughs> Oh, 
So there was a uh, song idea that we had Good. called This Is War. Um, and I didn't really have much written for it besides a little passage. So we're going to chuck This Is War as an intro to the EP, which I think is quite cool. Yeah, intro to everything. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think this song is sort of the song I hope that, you know, kids at home who are making footy montages can use for their background yeah, music. Yeah. Um, and then I'll sting them and uh, copyright it. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll make sure it's uh, uh, accessible to use. But yeah, it's a bit of an uplifter, a bit of a build-up song, but that's what it's we're working anthem, on really. at the moment. Dude, I think it's just exciting times, really. We've got um, five done. Yeah. Well, just about. Just about. <laughs> Pick your body off the floor Put your head Put your head over the ball This is war Do you want like the whole order to invite? Pick your body off the floor I sort of... I'm tempted to have it so it doesn't sound like me Oh you want to do that whole um... Not me vibe, yeah? Well, yeah, if we... Potentially. But if it sounds shit, then... Pick your body off the floor. Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. Nearly another seven hours, uh, just chipping away at the EP. We all all songs are on the go. They are. They're almost done. Yeah. You can see the the light at the end of the tunnel. And he wasn't on screen. <laughs> A double whammy. Good morning, guys. I am going up to Melbourne to record some more music. Given the current climate, that's ambitious, but. Um, yeah, going up to Jake's only for a couple of hours today, which is good because it's a Friday and I sort of want to get home before the traffic, even though everyone's working from home. So comment down below if you think there's going to be Friday Arvo traffic. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna play this song that I made last night. If it doesn't make the EP, I might just release it as a song because I like it. But anyway, this is what I got. I love making those atmospheric, like sparkly noises in the background. Then I got a piano, played it, like on GarageBand, and then just quantized it so it was like looping really beautifully. And then there's this like foreign instrument, it's like not a guitar, but that's what's making that big BOOM. And then this next part, which is my favourite part, I got a sample of a guitar, flipped it backwards, halved the speed, up the distortion, and then I added more guitars over the top and got this. Jake is just about to arrive to my house and we're going to record vocals for a couple of different songs. So, first time he's made the trip down to mine instead of me going up to his. And um, yeah, he's just about to get here and we're gonna uh, whip up some tune. Coming at you live from Calabasas. <coughs> oh. We are dominating proceedings here at the Wacker. Give me Justin Sherman and Anthony High note time fam, you know how we do it. Gold figures that I miss, gold figures that I miss, gold figures that I miss. <laughs> I witnessed a game where my team lost by 185, but that's alright, that's alright. 
My 40 dreams never come true But I hope they do But I hope they do Currently writing grand final day I haven't got anything written down for it Yet Except the concept So I'm, I'm thinking beers I'm thinking springtime I'm thinking footy colours I'm thinking sausage rolls I'm thinking barbecue I'm thinking everything that you love about Grand Final Day because Grand Final Day is one of my favourite days of the year and I love getting around the boys and sinking Pierce and watching the footy. Go grab a beer, go grab a nap, go grab a nap, ba na na ba na na da 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 na na da I wanna ride on Grand Final Day. And all day comes in, yeah. Feeling real weird Gonna go, gonna grab a beer I uh, Silly, probably a silly uh, pipe dream of mine But I think it's sounds cool, isn't it? And if he doesn't, I might just see if anyone else is down to hop on So, there's nothing more satisfying than When you got the instrumental I've been whipping them up on GarageBand Taking them to Jakey And then we swap out GarageBand sounds for Logic sounds Because he's got better packs and, you know, better instruments to use So, gives us a better sound but it's based and influence on the structure of the skeleton of the song that I make on GarageBand. So yeah, that's been huge for the process because I can whip up, you know, a skeleton of a tune and um, then I take it to Jakey, we just swap things out rather than trying to fiddle around and try and find a sound straight off the bat. Yeah, I've been craving a pop song. Everyone knows that I'm a massive One Direction, the 1975 fan. Um, you know, I've got some dark indie rock. I've got guitar indie rock. I've got hip hop, I've got real Coldplay sounding tunes. Yeah, got the lot, but this is right up my alley in terms of my music taste. No, no, no. Potentially the last day of recording vocals. It's been a long, it's been a long process. Oh, it's been a good process. Well, it's been been the best process of my life. It's exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> well, I thought um. Well, I think we all thought this would take about a month and a half to get a couple songs done. <laughs> We're around five or six months deep and eight songs deep. But I think we would have done it quicker if footy, uh, if footy was yeah, happening this yeah, year. Yeah, we would have. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this would have been out by now. Like, the EP would have been out if footy had have come earlier. But because we got more time up our sleeves, we've just right. put together an album. This might be a blessing in disguise. You don't know. Netball chicks come to see me get a kick. Composure in the back line leaves them breathless like an asthmatic. They see me take a bounce, they see me on the run. They say, What a gun, what a gun, mum. Look at this gun. Doesn't matter that I'm in the twos in Division 4. Doesn't matter that a Falcon's letter somehow missed my door. Doesn't matter that my sporting pulse must have been hacked. Never uploaded the game when I got best on from the back. I'm front and center from the fridge. What a spread you put on Mitch. Same game. Multis make us rich As a team we'll never ditch They see we're soaking up the sun Perfect forecast by Jane Bunn 1 before 10 or 10 before 1 It's 5pm and I'm Lyndon Dunn But I can't quit I'll never give up I'll never say die just like the killers On grand final day I'm Mr Brightside and I am winning Even though the cans have kicked one late I'm the one who got the norm For the best performance on the day Friend it's time to be a froth my favourite time of... Mm, my favourite time My favourite... I'm always bad at starting. I can never get the first couple of words out. My favourite time... <laughs> my favourite time of... Oh, I think... I think we're almost done. I think that's all she wrote. I think we are. It's, on the... it's a good feeling. It feels like a bit of a weight off our shoulders, I'm sure, because it's been... How long in the process were we saying well, it, was, it was probably like November last year I started saying let's make pie and chips. Actually, I think we made it. We made it? We about made it November. I no, think. I reckon we made it earlier. I was going to bring it out just after Back Pocket Plug, I remember. That's right. And then you came and then I was like, was like <sighs> Yeah, I was like, no, nah, we're going to change a band, it. Mate. Not a fan. <laughs> yeah, we made the whole song and then we switched it up. But I'm glad we did because no, it sounds way better, yeah. better now. Yeah. And then, yeah, I was thinking like, oh, maybe one. Could we do two? That'd be funny. So we did a second, and then I was like, well, we got to do an EP now. Yeah, so we right. did three or four, and then, and then Co COVID came, and now we've got eight songs. Just listened 
to pie and chips for the first time, like the actual, like finished version, and I'm seriously blown away. I cannot believe what the man Jakey Ross has delivered. Yeah, so we've chipped away at it, chipped away at it, and he's just sent me the final version that he's gone a bit music producer mode on, and it is fucking unbelievable. He's smashed it. He has smashed it, the kid. I knew he was the man for the job. That is fucking gross. I can't believe it. I'm trying to compliment him as well. He's just not having it because he's a humble little bastard. So this is what pies, pie and chips was <laughs> before we changed it. This was the original one. At the footy watching my favourite team. Didn't pack lunch but that's okay with me. Taking a million photos, but we're just getting it all right. But this is the set. This is what we're working with. Um, sorry. Yeah. No, that's not. That looks sick. What have you done? <laughs> Just packing up from the photo shoot we had done and dusted. Um, successful day, me and my brother. Loco helped me out with the uh, the album artwork. So we're going to go through the two hours of snapperoonies and um, yeah, see if we got a pick that's worthy of the album art. I was gonna say, like, I'm trying not to get too far because it looks like. Just sit. It's gonna be hard for you because you're a Leo, but just sit still. Whenever. Oh, one minute. Uh, it is Wednesday night and currently watching the cult figures that I miss video over and over and over and over and over again. And um, yeah, really, really happy with it. Shot this with my brother about a month and a bit ago. And it's been pretty complete for about a month. And then we just had to get a lot of other things done um, before something like this could go out. So yeah, night before. Night before, ladies and gents. Really keen to see how it goes. Um, knowing me, I'll probably just be checking the numbers all day. So I've got a little plan to put it up and sort of be monitoring the socials for the first hour, hour and a bit. What? Yeah! <laughs> something's coming soon, something's coming soon. Oh, 
Fan of the vid. Into the 7th, 2020, and we are on gyro stream. And I'm about to upload the tunes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's a bit of history. My footy dreams never. Never, they never. Come. Here we go, guys. This is it. We're genreless, ladies and gentlemen. They don't have comedy, which is a real shame. It's getting exciting. The artwork's in. It is 10.30, Monday night, the 13th of July. July, mate. And uh, I'm just about to upload it all. I'm going to arrange it, mate. <coughs> there it is. You did it. Done. Your payment is successful. Done. Leave it with us. Wow. Oh, my Holy God. Moly. We've done it, mate. We've actually done it. It's, how do you feel? How do you feel to know that your album is finally not quite out there, but it's, it's sort of it's up in the air at this point? It's in the stratosphere at the moment. That's right. That's it's, right. It's airborne. We're, we're like a plane, and it took us, what, almost eight months to get off the ground. Well, really, we started Pie and Chips over a year ago. I was trying to get Pie and Chips out this time last year. And now, and now we got nine songs. Uh, one of the songs is Back Pocket Plugger. Shout out to Mikey D for getting the ball rolling. Um, Mikey D. Mikey D got us rolling at the start. And then we uh, we said, on the hands, Mikey, on the hands. And we took it and ran with it. Um, yeah, no, nah, it's crazy. I can't believe it. And I'm keen for, what, three weeks? People will hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I wonder who will win. Armstrong Creek, uh... Armstrong Creek are favourites today, I heard. Um, What's who's going up against? Um, they're going up against the Warrilla Washer. No, okay, yeah. yeah. Maybe go that side. Oh, I'm not sure. And I'll show you one. Uh, I missed, like, most of it. I got the last little bit. I'm filming uh, now. Cracky in the box. No, I'm just going to be jealous. Whenever, whenever you're ready. Yeah, can I? I'll just grab a. I'll grab a pie. Yeah, that's 1516 for that. <laughs> Hit it. Just a pie and chips, thank you. That'll be 1560, thanks. <laughs> 1560. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do that one more time? Absolutely. Let's do this a lot more times. <laughs> yeah. <easy. laughs> Hi, Caden. How are you going? Alright, turn around in your head. <laughs> yeah, hit it. <laughs> nice. A young man was allegedly arguing with an innocent lady serving food at the football. Bystanders overheard him complaining about the ridiculous price of the pies and the chips at the footy. Right, so, looking at the phone. Doss on the screen. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> After him, this blatant theft of food from the football, regardless of the disgusting price structure, is unacceptable. Is that what you want? Is that what you wanted? Okay. Nah, this isn't. 
to do with the steel? Is it just like at the start? Or okay. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> further, 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 further. Yeah, okay. Now, psych yourself in. <laughs> Maybe turn your headlights off. Keep your hand low. Alright, there is about five minutes until Pie and Chips goes live and I'm here with Jakey Ross. Jake, mate, we've, yeah. been, <laughs> we've been here before, we've done this process before, we're getting a little bit more used to it, but how are you feeling? I'm feeling good about this one. This is our best piece of art, I think. This is top-notch um, production and singing by, by yours truly. Um, so I, th I think I think it's going to do well, man. Yeah, How I, are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. I, yeah. I, I love this song. And um, I reckon after pulling my hair out for three... Oh, not three months. For two months, pulling my hair out trying to get this video done, I'm pretty happy with the product so i'm pumped for people to get around it hopefully they uh enjoy it but I, I, i'm confident that you know someone out there will like it <laughs> got the two minute uh <laughs> i love the countdown music it gets me pumped yeah it does it gets in the mood eh another countdown someone's trying to dox the lyrics being in the um <laughs> In the comp, uh, in the description. Wait for the drums, Jakey. Wait for the drums, mate. Get ready. Just wanna fall. <laughs> it's the day before the album gets released. Oh boy, nerves running rampant. Bit of self doubt. What have I done? What if all the songs suck? Um, yeah, just a weird day. It's been a weird week, to be honest, but um, exciting. It feels like a big weight lifted off the shoulders. I love massive projects. I love the secrecy. I love the grind behind the scenes. I love that, you know, from January all the way through, we've been putting in a lot of work, and you guys don't see it till now. Yeah, going to play Evo, going to get Jakey Ross on the stream, um, and just chillax and maybe play some exclusive, exclusive listens and... Um, yeah, really soak it up. It's just been a fun, fun process. One that I'm keen to do again. So I'll just try and enjoy this day <laughs> as much as I can. But it will start going well if the D's can get up tonight. I'm start to upload the audio only videos onto YouTube. Um, just a bit nervous. I'm going to call Jake and just have a chat. I'm um, just sort of pondering around my, my <laughs> pondering around my little room. But um, I went to the shops and got stuff for dinner and got some drinks as well. So it's gonna be a bit of a celebration night where I just kick back, watch the footy, sing some cans and um, yeah, enjoy. How's, um, how's Hold Out Hope? I'm just uploading it now and it got copyrighted. Yeah, that's weird. I they thought, it, they thought it was an actual song and it wasn't from Coldplay. <laughs> well, it was. It's like, oh, this, this is Doss's bang, right? Uh, you can't, you probably copyrighted yourself. You probably cost yourself about 10 grand. I know. <laughs> Before it's even out. <laughs> Oh, mate, I'll leave you to it, but uh, we'll hop on uh, hop on the chat later. Alright, I'll see you then, Doss. 1am, Jakey. The two, the three streams that cut out are all done. <laughs> oh, mate, you had a bit of a, a Betty Crocker there, didn't you? <laughs> you did, but yeah, no, we got to it, and the album's out. The album is out. Yeah. Get around him. Mate, it's been a long time coming. I'll leave you to it, but just on, on the uh, behind-the-scenes doco that'll come out, this is what this is on. Uh, yeah, appreciate your efforts. Like we put a lot of time in, in, into it, and I, I felt guilty coming up to your house every second week and just working on me tunes. But you were more than a, uh, you know, more than patient and more than willing to have me up there. So I appreciate your effort. Oh mate, you're a pleasure. It was. I felt bad that you had to make the journey, the two-hour journey, all the way down to where I live. Um, and you know, I've, I only went up to yours only a handful of times, but um, mm. I felt 
felt sorry for you having to catch the train as well. The train was the worst. That was the worst period because it was like, it, it took three trains to get to you. But, oh well. But there's something I do appreciate. A man who brings his own muesli bar, I can appreciate a man who does that. <laughs> well, I stopped bringing the muesli bars when you started dishing the, uh, the Mexican wraps up to me. <laughs> That's when the muesli bars stopped coming up. Uh, Alright, see you, Dustman. You have a good one, brother. Catch you, mate.